Hello, welcome. This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Have you ever wondered what it might be like to have a web portal like YouTube, but designed specifically for 3D software users? At such a site, I imagine you'd be able to do searches for 3D content that you want, review it, rate it, and find out what other people have said about the same file. How about social networking? Perhaps you should be able to connect with others who are working on the same 3D problems that you are tackling, maybe become friends with them, start discussion threads, and respond to other people's comment. Today we look at two emerging 3D communities with similarities to popular file sharing sites like YouTube and networking sites like Facebook. The first one is 3D Via. You are familiar with its maker, I'm sure. It's Deso Systems, the same people who brought you Katia. Now, 3D Via is not targeted at CAD users, but more for digital content creators and game makers. So, it may look and feel a little too flashy and jazzy for an engineer's austere aesthetics, but it's a fun site. It lets you search for fancy items like hummers and gears and spacecraft, then spin them around, zoom in on them, inspect them in wireframe and point cloud modes. You also get a look at the content of the model its sizes, vertices, surfaces, what software was used to create it, and so on. Besides, the number of times it's been downloaded and the user's comments, if it has any, gives you a pretty good idea of the popularity of the file and the skill set involved in making it. At 3dvr.com, the portal gives you access to a downloadable software called 3D VR Shape. It's a free software. It's an intuitive environment that lets you create profiles and then push and pull their geometry to create something. Now, in my view, the software is not as responsive as, say, Google SketchUp. Bear in mind, however, that 3D VR Shape is still in beta, whereas SketchUp has seen a few releases and has been refined over time. One of the things I find a bit awkward about 3D VR Shape is that it doesn't actually give you an easy way to open up a file you have already created that resides in your hard drive and edit it. In order to bring something into 3D VR Shape, you need to first upload the file to your 3dvr.com homepage, then download it back again into the modeling environment. I suspect that it's Deso Systems' way of encouraging people to upload more content onto 3dvr.com. But if you are a CAD user, my guess is you already have a bunch of files you'd like to share with others, say, a spaceship or a helicopter you created during your downtime. Now let's take a look at 3D Content Central. Deso Systems recently relaunched the site after revamping it to look a lot more like Facebook, down to the color palettes and the menus. Think of it as Deso Systems' matchmaking site for part suppliers and part seekers. So if you're looking for engine, gasket, bracket, screws, whatever the standard part might be, you'll probably be able to locate it through category or supplier name. Now here you also have a chance to preview the part that you have found, spin it, rotate it, zoom on it, and so on. But here's what I think is the coolest feature. There's a thing called Hyperview. It simply lets that part jumps out at you so that you can inspect it at close range. When you do find the part you want, you can download it in the file type of your choice and insert it into your assembly. That makes sure, of course, that you are working with parts that are available from the manufacturer so that you won't end up with a problem somewhere down the line. Here, just like 3dvr.com or YouTube, you can also find other people's comments on the files that you're looking at and see the ratings. So you can understand a little bit about the quality of the geometry that is involved. But networking, I'd say, is not just about work and professional relationships. It's also about fun, about flexing your creative muscles, doing something unexpected and unorthodox. Take a look at this, for instance. Several users on 3D Content Central has obviously created Homer Simpson. Yes, the famous character from the animation series, rendered in his recognizable colors. Look at this, he even has a beer can. I happen to think YouTube and Facebook represent how the next generation live, work, think, and interact with one another. So any technology developers that can mimic these sites and incorporate the appropriate functions into their own products are well positioned to attract the new creative talents. 
So till next time, this is Kenneth Wong and Homer Simpson for Desktop Engineering.